Well guys, sorry it took me a year and a half, but I finally got around to finishing up the A10. And it is awesome. So, uh, I wanted to give you a little guided tour and show you what I actually did versus, you know, some of the things I said I might do with it. I had to take a year off of uh, RC flying. I just had too much going on. I started uh, MMA training in August, so I do that four nights a week, jiu-jitsu, karate, and uh, Muay Thai. And, uh, and of course, I've got my work and uh, the family. You know, we're a volleyball family. The kids have sports, all that kind of stuff. So it's just uh, go, go, go right now in my life. And uh, it seemed like the RC stuff was kind of getting in the way, maybe costing a little bit too much money. So even though I spend a modest amount on them, I only ever have two airplanes at a time, guys. Uh, my focus was the A-10. I've got the B-25 up there on the, on the ceiling that I keep. And I'm actually going to paint that one silver at some point and uh, redo the whole paint job on it, get it all fixed up and uh, fly it again. So that'll be kind of cool, I think. But uh, this baby right here, man, she turned out really, really good. And I'm really proud of her. It's some really cool stuff. You get the phone flipped around here. All right, so as I'm uh, showing you the vid, I'm gonna try to integrate uh, some uh, video that I shot of the airplane earlier. And uh, I'll also explain, uh, you know, some of the things I do. Sorry the shop's a mess right now. I was really uh, working hard to get this thing finished so that I could go put a couple flights on it today. I'm not actually going to show the flying video. I mean, there's a bunch of them out there, really, on this. And if you've seen one, you've seen them all. They all look the same flying. I put... Uh, I put the whistles in the engines, you know, like they told us to do in motion. That actually sounded really cool, so I was kind of happy with that. Anyway, uh, some of the cool stuff I did, you're looking at in the vid right now, if I got the timing right. Uh, I actually detailed the cockpit. It took me two weeks to do that. And uh, I actually just used a lot of uh, bits and pieces that I had sitting around. Uh, one of the cool things is, is uh, you might notice that the canopy looks uh, thick. And, uh, you know, it looks that way because I actually used two canopies. I bought a spare canopy from Motion RC and placed it over the other one. And then I used uh, uh, spackling to fill in the gaps and smooth it all out. Kind of like, kind of like body work, you know. And then I just uh, primed it and painted it. Also painted some of the panels uh, off colors and uh, used uh, canopy glue and an 18 gauge syringe to do all my own aircraft riveting for the raised stuff and for the flush stuff with the quick release fasteners on the uh, forward panels. I actually used a copper tubing and I'll show you that right here. Here's the kind of copper tubing that I used and I actually sharpened one end of it at a certain point, uh, even though this particular one's not sharpened, uh, in order to uh, make those uh, tubes, or I'm sorry, those fasteners look good. Um, what else? I didn't spend much time on the ordnance, so I just kind of left that uh, alone. I decided not to highlight that at all. Uh, I use it actually in flight, though. I do keep it on the airplane. For me, it's great for orientation. And on this airplane, it's got enough uh, power and lift that uh, it just doesn't present enough of a drag uh, problem. So it also looks beautiful in the air, the very scale. Uh, I didn't actually go with the chemical uh, light sticks that I had suggested for the uh, formation uh, lighting on the airplane. What I did use for now is um, this uh, luminescent tape. This stuff right here, you get it on uh, Amazon or eBay. You know, it's just a few bucks for a roll of it. Uh, the problem with that stuff is you have to charge it uh, in order to get the glow. But once you do, it gives you at least a moderate glow for about uh, 20 minutes or so. It's plenty of time for a flight. It's not all that visible, uh, but in the future, I've got some really cool stuff here. This is uh, this is called electroluminescent tape. And let me turn some lights off here. Uh, 
electroluminescent tape or EL tape. Uh, it's akin to EL wire, which is the more common thing, but uh, I'll click some lights off here and I'll demonstrate this stuff to you. Nine volts, actually pretty cool, huh? So that's the future upgrade of this airplane. But uh, I had this airplane sitting in my garage for so long, I actually got tired of waiting to complete it and uh, wanted to get it done. So uh, I went with the, with the less complex option uh, to finish it right off the bat. But that stuff will be great. Uh, also very lightweight. I'm not going to use the green color. They've got the, the white color that I'll tint to look more like the, uh, the natural uh, formation lighting on the A-10. Uh, when I go to install it and I'll probably just uh, slip it right through the uh, through the fuselage and uh, then probably border it with some uh, aluminum tape that kind of thing to make it look right anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video it has been uh, a real pleasure to uh, respond to some of the comments and to get all the great subscribers that I've been getting to the channel I really appreciate it even though I dumped a home theater video in there on you I actually got a pretty good response on that too. People seem to like that stuff, just a different crowd. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks again, guys, for all your support. And uh, I really enjoyed bringing you the A10 today. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.